Hey guys, Andy here at Fathom. So this is uh, day two, video two of our uh, Fathom cast. I think so, yeah. Uh, here at our uh, main headquarters. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, we'll get dealers come to us at iCast and tell us a little bit about their particular customer so that we can kind of talk about what we have that fits their needs. Um, so more often than not, it's that kind of 22 to 28 foot center console uh, meat fish buyer. Um, so let's get in a little about what we have that kind of fits into that we, category. We have a lot for that category. We do, we, really we do. do. Yeah. So we'll have to cover that really quickly, but uh, so down here towards Andy, we've got a lot of different head shapes and a lot of these are rigged that are sitting out, but essentially, you know, we like to start with some extra smalls in the spread. That's going to be perfect for any small black fin mm -hmm. or peanut dolphin that, you know, come into the spread. Uh, then we're going to, this is what I'd call a small range. And this happens to be a, a new lure here. This is the Bubble Trouble. Nice flathead lure, real lightweight. You can put it pretty much anywhere. That's the nice thing about bullets and flatheads. They can go anywhere. Then, uh, I'll, you know, Andy, why don't you point towards some of these down here, see what we got here. Yeah, so this is kind of that same extra small category, different head shape, different colorway. Uh, this kind of works into some of our small stuff. So a lot of the time people say, um, you know, how do I uh, hook ballyhoo on this or how do I fish it with ballyhoo? Well, the short answer is you don't have to. Um, all of our lures that are pre-rigged are intended to be pulled the way that you're getting them. So uh, at least our smalls and, and mediums and things like that. So they're meant to be pulled naked. That's the lure, not the uh, angler. Don't make it weird on your boat. Uh, you know, there's other people on there. So do what you want to do. It's <laughs> <laughs> your boat. You can do what you want. Um, so these are meant to be pulled the way that they are. They're eight foot, 150 pound liter. Uh, come with our stainless steel trolling lance hook set that we build here in our building. Um, so these are rigged almost the same way as our mediums and our large billfish lures. So they're super durable, last a long time, and really easy to kind of mix into a spread. And if you don't know what lure to pick, there's two solutions. One, just always pick a bullet or a flat. That's real easy. The other thing is just pick a six pack. So we have uh, these six packs already rigged up with small lures. We have mm -hmm. a four pack the same way. Yep. So if you only have uh, just, you know, you don't have uh, outriggers, outriggers yeah. on your boat, you want to just pull four, that's fine, we got one of those. So that's got a variety of different head shapes and different colors. Uh, the next big question we get asked all the time is how do I run some teasers on a small boat? And so a couple things, like we really like small daisy chains that you can put lures behind. Uh, if you saw our first video, we just just releasing these colors here, but this is our epic squid chain. And so it's perfect for running up close to the boat so it acts as a teaser, but it also has a hook in it, so it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question I feel like is dredges. People are always like, well, should I or can I even pull the dredge? Yeah, especially on, a small on that boat? small boat, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, we fished a lot on small boats up where we are in Wilmington. And what we like to do is you can either hand line something about this size. Now this is a new dredge for us this season. This is a 32 inch uh, spring frame and it's got seven inch squids on it. Super lightweight, hardly has any drag uh, when it's pulling in the water. And you could pull it literally on one of our trolling weights or one of our four pound dredge fish. Works great for that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really easy to pull dredges on small boats. I mean, you, even like a 23 foot boat, you could do a, a dredge on. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, uh, we're going to touch on a couple other uh, topics and definitely check back with us. Uh, be sure to like this post and tag two friends in it. Um, we're going to be giving away uh, some swag. That's that's the iCast thing, right? Free stuff. You gotta have free. The free <laughs> so tag stuff, two yeah. friends and uh, enter for a chance for you and that friend, uh, or those two friends, uh, to win one of our swag bags. So um, check us out, and we'll see you tomorrow.